I like black cells. White blood cells are one of the cells the body makes to help fight infection. White blood cells are created in the bone marrow. They are lymphocytes and phagocytes, two kinds of white blood cells. Under the category of phagocytes, we have basophil and monocyte. Let's see what it can do. Basophil contains a substance called anticoagulant heparin, which prevents blood from coagulating too quickly. It also contains a substance called muscle dilator histamine, which promotes blood flow to the tissues. Histamine increases the permeability of the capillaries to white blood cells, as some the case, to allow them to engage cytoglomes in the affected tissues. When the white blood cells release the histamine, it starts an inflammatory response that starts the process of getting rid of the foreign body from the human body. The foreign body is now successfully removed by the basophil. Now, we shall take a look at what monocytes can do. They carry out the process of phagocytosis. When a foreign body invades, they have the ability to change into another cell form called macrophages before facing the foreign body's attack. They can now consume, munch on harmful bacteria, fungi and viruses. Then, enzymes in the monocyte's body kill and break down the germs into pieces. The foreign body is now being ingested. After consuming the germs, the monocytes take parts of those germs called antigens and mount them outside their body like threads. Other white blood cells see the antigens and make antibodies designed to kill those specific type of germs. So these germs can never harm the body again because they have been identified. When these germs attack the body again, the white blood cells had already have a way to deal with that. Our body has a lymphatic system. But what is its function? Let's take a look. We collect extra lymph fluid from body tissues and return it to the blood. This process is important because water, proteins and other substances are continuously leaking out of tiny blood capillaries into the surrounding body tissues. If the lymphatic blood system didn't drain the excess fluid, it would build up in the body's tissues and they would swell. The system also absorbs fatty acids. Before triglycerides actually leave the epithelial cells after digestion, they are coated by proteins, which results in the formation of chylomicrons. So we see that chylomicrons are small globules composed of protein and lipid. The coating of protein gives the triglyceride a water-soluble coat, and this allows the chylomicron to travel outside of the cell. The newly formed chylomicrons leave the epithelial cell and enter the lymphatic capillaries, which are called lacteals. The lacteals are found in the finger-like projections of the intestinal wall, called the villi. Lactose represent another unique way fats are absorbed because lipids pass through the lymphatic system before they make their way back to your bloodstream. The lymphatic system also acts as a highway, transporting white blood cells to and from the lymph nodes into the bones and antigen presenting cells to the lymph nodes. The lymphatic system also helps to remove toxins and other impurities from the body, such as carbon dioxide, sodium, and other byproducts of cellular feeding on oxygen, minerals, and nutrients. The system helps to remove these impurities and dispose of them through perspiration, bowel movements, urine, and your breath. The lymphatic system helps defend the body against illness-causing germs, bacteria, viruses, and fungi. The system builds immunity by making special white blood cells called lymphocytes that produce antibodies which are responsible for immune responses that defend the body against disease. That's all for today. Thank you.